Hello, and welcome to CloudBees. This is the second in a two-part series on CloudBees Global Security for CloudBees CI. In the first video, we covered LDAP integration and single sign-on, and we're going to build on that in this video with role-based access control. So, a little review here. We're using an open LDAP server that we've already connected to, and we're logged in with our cluster admin on that server. And now we need to work with Team B here and give them the property authorities as admins and devs on that server. So to do that, we'll go back into Manage Jenkins. And when we add these, you should see a, another set of menu items called Roles and Groups on, added to the left menu items. Configure Global Security. Scroll down to the Authorization section and change from logged in users can do anything, which is kind of freewheeling, to an actual role-based matrix authorization strategy. And we're going to take a typical initial setup, which will give us some default roles and groups and permissions. So if I do that and apply or save it, there's my roles and groups menu. So let's look at what came with the default. Cluster admin was already added to the administrators. And then we've got two more groups, developers and browsers. These groups are associated with roles, which give them permissions. The first one you see is authenticated. That's a system permission of authenticated users in the system. The next of the administrators have the administer role, and they have this set of permissions. We won't cover all those in detail. There's the anonymous, those users that have not authenticated into the system. Developers have a limited set of roles just to do developer work, and browsers have a very minimal set of permissions just to look around. Now, if we go back here to our top level and explode the hierarchy here to get the whole trail, each level in this hierarchy will need permissions. And when you're working on a certain level here, you will, this Groups and roles will be associated with this level of the hierarchy. This will be associated with the top level of the hierarchy. So under this, I go into groups, and now I need to add browse privileges to all the groups are going to access this. In this case, it will be my C, my B devs and my B admins. So don't have any groups added yet. There's my developers. There's my admins. And I'll show you what happens if you add a group that's not part of the, your LDAP server. I'll just add Bs. Notice that we'll go ahead and take it but it will not, it'll mark it as, hey, I can't find it. So it'll give you a flag. I'll go ahead and delete that as well. Go back to my groups. And now you can see I've added even more groups to the browsers. And we're still at the Jenkins level to find in Jenkins. So if I go back up here and go here, go to groups. Notice I'm, I can actually now work on Team B locally and inherit permissions from Jenkins. So I need a couple of... Uh, local groups here. I will start with B admins and in B admins I will grant them administrator privileges and save that and then I'll add my B admins To there. Back to group. New group. Then I'm going to add B devs and give these developer permissions. And add my external group for my LDAP. And now you can see I've got some control over what the developers can do if they're in the developer group from LDAP and what they can do if they're in the admin group from LDAP. If you go
go back here, there are two users. B admins has a user of admin B1. B dev has a user of developer B1. So let's log out of the admin and see what they can see. Let's do a tour first of what a full administrator sees. Notice a rich set of items here, including roles and groups. Even more when it gets down to the folder level for the, for the different masters and controllers. And you still have all those privileges here. Let me log out and I'll log in as admin B1. And notice at the top level of the operation center, this menu collapsed to only three items. If I go to the, the, the area, the team where this administrator has administrator privileges, then I get the whole gamut of administrator privileges just for this folder and for this controller. Pay attention to the roles and groups because, and a lot of and other things here, because they will go away for the developer. Go here now and come back in as Notice the same thing. Notice I can do only developer related stuff here. I can't manage roles and groups. And if I go into here, I can only do a few things that are related to what developers can do. Mainly new items, pipelines, jobs, templates, and things like that. And that is role-based access control from CloudBees on CloudBeast CI. I thank you for listening.